you're in the uh, what's called the long-term care facilities coming off of the street coming into what will be the port cocher this is basically 50 units all private rooms all private bathrooms with showers you're actually in an area where there's a dining room so the folks will have the opportunity to dine together but they will also have opportunities to dine um, separately both in their households and the main dining space this is called long-term care 200 as far as the wing this is the one entrance into the dining space so when you come into the dining room this is going to be a, a nice large open space clear story windows there'll be a snack bar here there's actually a full service kitchen that's separate from the commons kitchen all the food is cooked here or cooked in the commons brought here and then individualized for each one of the residents so there's a lot of choice a lot of flexibility throughout all their decision making on this it's what's going to be best for the residents and what's going to make it the most sense for their staff too when you're talking about 80 some thousand square feet of building how do you make that look in the same scale as a single family residence and i think people have already commented about it it fits nice it looks right with the scale of the neighborhood they've had Terrific ideas, they've definitely pushed the envelope, challenged us in a lot of places, and we did the same thing back. And I think the fruits of that labor will really show up when we get to the, the final stage and the doors are open. It really has been a joy and, and a pleasure to be a part of this. And this is part of Grace's history. I mean, they've been so good to the community and the community has supported them for all these years. This will be the next couple of generations forward and it's going to be pretty special place. Anybody that will be experiencing it, I think they'll call this home very quickly.